this video is going to help you to find which prototype board is the right one for you. So stay tuned. We're going to see in three steps, basically what I have tested and my conclusion about it. This video aims to help you to select which PCB is a good fit for your prototyping with the Flipper Zero. So here is the three different type I have decided to select. So I will start with the official one. So basically this one came with like two different size. There is two small units and one big one, and they come in this little bag. And you have also the pins that are here for soldering it. So in the end, you could like just uh, plug and pin and you could see there is really nice integration. So regarding to the mock, so minimum order quantity here, it's three, but you could not select the size. So you have anyway, one big, regardless, you need a small one. The quality, I will say it's okay. Um, it fits the needs here, but it could be a bit small. So here it's a bit, I don't know, I can't like uh, zoom in, but you could see it, it bend a bit, okay? Colors, there is nothing else available here. It's green and that's it. And yeah, compatibility, it's perfect because it's made by the team and it's designed for Flipper Zero. So what do you expect, right? Also, what is really interesting here to consider regarding the price, so it's uh, 10 bucks, 10 USD um, without the bat. And what is really interesting is like, if you buy this one, you kind of support the Flipper Zero team. So regardless of price in the end, I still think it's a good deal because you support the product you like, okay? So for the second type, I have decided to order a custom made. It was my first custom made order from um, a PCB manufacturer. I'm not going to promote it during the video, but hey, if you want to help and support the channel, you could still order with the description below, okay? Now, the thing really interesting here, regardless, it's a custom made one. It's still made from the Jabber file that was used for like the official PCB. And this one, you could also download it for your own needs. So I found that was awesome because on Telegram, some people from like the official team released the Jabber file. So I have downloaded them. I don't remember where it was. But no, you could use it, modify it, and generate it, order it, you name it. What I find really interesting also, there are like several people that are building custom-made for different projects PCBs. You could also go for that. But here, I've decided just to, you know, order some couple of blank and white here PCBs to too much like the, the color of the Flipper Zero. I find it's like really going pretty well. Okay. So here, the mock, it really de depends on the shop. So mine was five. And yeah, quality, I would say it may vary. But for mine, I, it's really sturdy. Like I could not like bend it. And even like, yeah, it's a big one. And when I look at all like the dots, it's really, really interesting, really well made. But once again, like I'm a newbie in that field. So depending your shop and uh, the option you select, it will depend. And here's the colors. It's really interesting because you are like far from just having like this kind of uh, dark blue or green. You could have like white, yellow, um, blue, whatever. Compatibility, it's for me perfect, perfect fit. But unlike the kit from like the Flipper Zero, you do not have like the pins. So that's something you need to consider and order separately. Now, regarding the price, it really depends how many you are going to order. For me, it was not viable if I just wanted to order five because of the shipping in Europe. So once again, it's really up to you. So to make it fair, I think here I should like make it like less, less a good deal than the official one because it, will, it, sh it might be more expensive, you know? depending the amount you, you need. If let's say you want to custom make like 51, like it would be definitely a good price per unit. But hey, come on, who needs to have like 50 units of like um, Flipper Zero prototype? So now 
let's end up with like the generic one. So here, like there are like more than of course two type of like um, size of it. Here I have only one type, and for the minimum order of like um, yeah, it really depends on the shops, and of course it's going to be a ripoff if you only order one, but there are like deals where like they can buy 25th or, or even more and in really different sites and they're as cheap that you could like even like cut them to really fit what you want to prot prototype no the quality i would say yeah it may vary also depending of like the shop and all their package also because like they could like get some scratch and, and stuff for color same thing so basically here like i have green but came in different colors and you might need to, to add some extra bucks if you want to have a color that fits your units. Compatibility here, I think it's a big cons because like out of the box, it really needs some uh, cutting to, to fit as good as um, other PCBs because like you could see here, it's really custom made for like the flipper, uh, flipper zero and it's really fit inside this little hole here that are made from like the bumper. So I think, think here kudos for like custom made beside from the generic. And for price, yeah, this one is the best. It's, it's the best deal, but you know, you pay for what you get in the end. So here we are at the conclusion side. Like I said, I think the third deal is to order the one um, from the team. The reason is because you are you are supporting the team if you don't plan to make like more than three different prototypes. Also, you get like the perfect fit pins that come right in the box. So when you're going to solder it, it will not get too high from the flipper zero and still make it uh, sturdy enough. So that's something yeah to, to consider. Otherwise, yeah, if you want like use the jubber file that are linked below. I think it's really awesome to have like your custom made depending on the color you want. And yeah, maybe I should have like added another um, section for custom made PCBs, but then there are like plenty of like, and I really remember the one from I am uh, onion, like it is really good. He made like different PCBs. Also the ones that are like designed with like um, talking squash, the squash story. Yeah. And those are, are guys that really work and help the community. And that's what I wanted to do here in this video and show you if you want just say like uh, a perfect copy here, you could get one. No, remember, it really depends and it's up to you on all the um, quality you want to have like a new PCB for your Flipper Zero. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.